Now, thank you so much for joining us again. Now, a great man goes home talking about the late business mogul, Sir Chief Molade Okoya Thomas. Family, friends, and well wishes gathered to bid him farewell. Chief Molade Okoya Thomas, a family man, a humanitarian, a sports lover, a boardroom guru and business mogul. These qualities and more has endeared him in the heart of many, especially those who had the opportunity to come in contact with him during his lifetime. On the 2nd of February 2015, his family, members of the business and sports communities were thrown into mourning following his death at the age of 79. His death to many was considered as a great loss to the people of Lagos State, where he lived most of his lifetime, and Nigeria as a whole. Condolences poured in both from the elites and others in the society whose lives he affected positively. One of the great attributes of the man was his extreme politeness, extreme decency. Even to those of us who are very young, he always was so polite, always so respectful. Late Chief Molade Okoya Thomas of the famous Okoya dynasty of Lagos was said to have given his best in the areas he ventured in. For a man who has achieved this great fits and more, nothing short of the befitting burial was deserving. His children stopped at nothing to make sure that was achieved. The event lined up for the final journey of Sam Molade Okoya Thomas started with an evening of tribute and service of songs held at the Trinity House in Lagos. As expected, it was a full house. Friends and well-wishers joined his widow, Lady Olive, and other members of the Mola de Okoya Thomas family in celebrating his life. In attendance was the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babatsende Fashola and wife, Abimbola. Also worthy of note at the occasion are Otsumba Shobomi Balogun and wife, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, former Deputy Governor of Delta State, Mr. John Edozien, first female chartered accountant in Nigeria, Chief Mrs. Toyi Olakuori, former judge of the Supreme Court, Justice George Oguntade, Yeye Oge of Lagos, Chief Opera Benson, renowned medical practitioner Dr. Sonny Kuku, amongst others. It was a day of tribute, and one after the other, some eminent guests took to the podium to say a few words. I wish I could invent new words to describe him. But unfortunately, like all mortals, he must be celebrated within the limits of the knowledge and vocabulary that exists in this realm. To describe him as great, simply to restate the obvious. He was great in life, and I dare say, death. We should learn from this life that is so precious that if we 
want to really live a very impactful life for our generation. If tonight is a night of tribute that is being given for us, would we be taught this way? Good night, Daddy. God bless you till we meet again. Yes, he has kept his faith. He ran his race. I will now believe that he is with his God. At a time like this, Many words can describe the late Moladi Okoya Thomas. His children testified to their father's humility and uprightness. He was always there, a wonderful father. My mentor, my friend. His words of advanced in my ears. My father was so particular in how the name of Okoya Thomas. And I knew that. I have not disappointed him in politics. That name meant so much to me. I call you Thomas. I will miss you so much. Your humor was infectious and your commitment and love to your family was second to none. You always wanted your children and grandchildren around you all the time. And we would all joke and laugh together. You gave good counsel at all times about the fair values of life. I will go to any day to see that your children succeed. And with the Hallelujah Chorus, the tribute night and service of songs ended. Everyone gathered again, but this time at the Holy Cross Cathedral for the funeral service. For his family, the sad reality stares them in the face. Again, it was a gathering of great personalities, all in celebration of the life they say was well spent. The special service officiated by the Archbishop of Lagos, Bishop Alfred Adewale Martins, supported by other bishops, including Anthony Cardinal Olubumi Okoje. Present at the service to support the family was Senate President David Mark, Governor of Lagos State Babatsunde Fashola and wife Abimbola Fashola, Governor of Ogun State Ibikunle Amosu and wife Olufun Sho, Governor of River State Chibuike Amechi, former Governor of Lagos State Chief Bola Tinubu and his wife Senator Oluremi Tinubu. First Military Governor of Lagos, Brigadier General Mobolaji Johnson. Former Defense Minister Theophilus Danjuma and Senator Daisy Danjuma. Mrs. Folorun Shaw Alakija. Honorable Abika Dabi Rierewa, and a host of other very important dignitaries. To many, Chief Molade Okoya Thomas left a legacy Nigerians should emulate. His generosity, his assistance to people to go to school and all that. And I think that with all his contributions in sports and the human development, we need to copy that. Thereafter, he was laid to rest at the vaults and gardens in Ikoyi, Lagos. Molade Okoya Thomas was born on the 8th of June 1935. Until his death, he was the Chancellor of the Lagos State University, 
chairman of many organizations, Catholic Knight of St. Sylvester and an active sportsman who solely sponsored the annual Ashojuoba Table Tennis Championship for over four decades. I mean, what can I say? May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. And we say very big amen to that. So I will sympathize with the family at this very difficult moment. I mean, when you lose a loved one, you know how that feels. Yeah. Well, on this rather right note, we draw the cuttings on today's edition of Metro File. But remember to watch this and past editions. Go to our website, channelstv.com, and watch us from there. And remember, you can also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handles are running right on your screen. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I'm Anne Mwawadu. And I'm Ogich Kwasi. Stay blessed.